Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Matthew McLaurin. In this episode, we'll be discussing air distribution in patient rooms. Within healthcare facilities, there are prescriptive requirements for the design of patient rooms. The most widely adopted standard for healthcare ventilation is ASHRAE Standard 170. In most states, it's adopted as part of the FGI guidelines. In others, it's adopted on its own or they have their own code. For patient rooms, standard 170 requires the design temperatures to be between 70 and 75 degrees. Relative humidity must be maintained below 60%. And air supplied to the space must be filtered upstream of the air handler heating and cooling coils by a minimum of a MERV 7 filter and a minimum of a MERV 14 filter downstream of the air handling cooling coil. Per standard 170, there are three acceptable supply air outlets in standard patient rooms. These are classified as Group A, Group D, and Group E outlets. Group A devices are outlets that are mounted in or near the ceiling that discharge horizontally. These are the standard grills and diffusers that are also widely used in most commercial spaces. Group D devices are outlets that are mounted in or near the floor and discharge air horizontally. These are displacement ventilation devices, creating a fully stratified system. Group E devices are outlets that project air vertically downward. Diffusers with high discharge velocity like slot diffusers and linear diffusers are used in mixed air systems. Low velocity diffusers like laminar flow devices are also included in this category. Standard 170 also has prescriptive requirements for air changes in the space. Four total air changes are required for Group A and Group E outlets. Two of these must be outdoor air changes. Room recirculating units can be used to achieve the additional air changes required to meet the total air change requirement. There are some additional stipulations for use of room recirculating devices in healthcare spaces and will be covered in a future podcast. Group D outlets have a slightly different requirement as well as they create a stratified space and will also be addressed in a future podcast. The primary concern for diffuser selection in a standard patient room is for occupant comfort. This requires selection of a diffuser that will sufficiently mix the room with minimal noise. In rooms with low skin load, a traditional square or plaque diffuser centrally located in the room will be effective. In rooms with a high skin load, perimeter slot diffusers should be considered. For ideal performance in both heating and cooling, an auto changeover diffuser should be utilized. These will direct all the air horizontally across the ceiling in cooling mode, and in heating mode will direct all the air vertically downward. This will ensure proper mixing to achieve uniform temperature throughout the space. Regardless of the fuser type, it's important to review the throw and sound levels at maximum flow and minimum flow conditions to ensure patient comfort throughout the entire range of operation. For more information on air distribution and critical environment applications, please check out our e-learning site or our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there, and thanks for taking the time out with us.